Hey, thanks for coming to check us out again at New York Coternix. Today I went ahead and cleaned out my incubator after a hatch. I had my hygrometer. Uh, I was very filthy to say the least. It got pooped on. It got whatever, just egg yuck all over it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I took it apart. As you can clean. see today I have my hygrometer and it just came out of the incubator not too long ago. It is covered in filth and grime. It is nasty. I do not want to put this back in an incubator again for my next hatch. So what I'm going to do is take it apart and clean it. All right. <clears throat> now that we have all the screws out, we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart. It's really simple. So as you can see, there's power wires coming from the battery compartment to this board right here. You're also going to want to get rid of this board. Not rid of it, but we're going to go ahead and unscrew these parts right here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and lift this up out of here. So you get rid of this. Now you're left with this. I'm going to go ahead and remove that battery. Take that out. Now you're just left with this. Now there's a clip right here and another clip right there that's holding this in after we take the screws out. So you want to go ahead and pry those open or at least one of them. And there we have it. So we want to take this part and clean it up real nice. Gonna rinse off the digitizer, clean it up real good, and put everything back together. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna give it a once over with the sanitizer wipe because it has gone through it. I was in the incubator for the two days after the hatch first started while I was waiting on the rest of the chicks. So you know what happened there. Yeah, that was really dirty. I should have probably washed that first, but I'll just grab another sanitizer wipe after this. All right, we want to wipe down everything. All right, and while I'm doing the back of this, the other stuff is drying. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and put this back together. Uh, we already got the frame popped back inside of the outer housing. As you can see right here, this goes here first. Then the rubberized housing. Now that we've got this part back on, I'm going to go ahead and test it out, make sure it works, see if it needs to dry out a little bit. All right, battery goes in. Seems to work. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together and we're going to be done. Grab your last couple of screws. Tighten up the last screw, pop the battery, cap on. Correctly. There we have it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so below. I'll answer as many questions as I can, as quickly as I can. Uh, thank you again for tuning in from New York Coternix.